More footage of the map of the world on the moon. So you wanted more footage of the map of the world on the surface of the moon, huh? Well, you're gonna get just that, but first let me give a disclaimer so this video doesn't get taken down. This video was made strictly for entertainment purposes only. Nothing in this video should be considered factual. We simply point out patterns and things that we notice. Matter of fact, let's just go ahead and say the whole damn video is scripted. All right, now let's get into it. So we got a comment asking for more footage of the moon. So here is some more footage of the moon surface morphing into the world map so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. And at the end, we're gonna go over the map and the continents and kind of break down it. So hopefully you can get a better picture of what I'm saying. Hopefully this video helps. All right, I'm going to stop talking for now and let you just enjoy the footage. But please make sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Finally, a real reflection of what our Earth actually looks like. We have both the known world and the extra land that has been unexplored by us, as well as ancient civilizations, which I noted in my previous video. A huge shout out to Sturgios, since he is the only reason we even have this map. Sturgios put a lot of work into this map. He even went down to the smallest minute detail. He has mapped out time zones, seasons, flight paths, and distances. The first true representation of our world in a map, and it is of the utmost importance, primarily due to the unknown landmasses over here. Sturgios named them Terra Vista after a landmass of the same name. But why have we never heard of this island? At least I haven't, have you? Anyways, Sturgio's presentation of our known world here marks the five prominent circles of latitude. We can see the Arctic Circle, the tropics, the equator, and the Antarctic Circle. And Sturgio's has mapped the sun's concentric journey around these circles of latitude, mapping seasons and time zones with the utmost precision and accuracy. It's crazy. Another huge shout out to Sturgio's because he definitely deserves it. So now that I've broken it down a little bit more and given you some additional longer footage to look at, is it getting easier for you to see the world map reflected onto the moon's surface? Or maybe some of you still think I'm crazy. But hey, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody's got to have one, right? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. And as always, make sure you like, follow, and share for more videos just like this. 